Welcome to a brand new week, and we go back to the book of Psalms. As you know, we've been looking at the book of Psalms uh, throughout this year, and we are in the 20th Psalm. And so we would start from verse number one. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. Psalm 20 is a psalm of David, but it's a very unique psalm of David because David wrote the psalm not from his point of view, but from the point of view of the congregation of Israel, the nation of Israel, praying for their leader, praying for their king. And so this psalm positions people to know how to pray for their leader, maybe a child praying for his parent, husband praying for the wife, wife praying for husband, uh, praying for a, your pastor, somebody who, who leads you, whose welfare benefits you. And this is what this psalm is all about. So there are two things that the verse 1 talks about, the prayer uh, that we should focus on as we intercede for the people who lead us. Uh, and the first one is, may the Lord answer you. And this is the first thing that uh, David wanted the people to pray for. Uh, the children of Israel knew David uh, was a man of prayer. He goes to God to pray. And so he says, when you are praying for me, pray that God will hear me when I pray. Uh, God will answer me. And of course, that is how we should also pray for our leaders. Pray for your pastor, pray for your parents, pray for somebody you love, and say, Lord, answer them in prayer. That does not mean that answer their prayer no matter what it is, but when, when their prayers are pleasing to you and it's in your will and it's beneficial to their nation or to their people, then Lord, answer them. So anytime you pray for somebody whose life is beneficial to you, uh, one of the things you pray for is may the Lord answer you. And I pray for each one of you uh, that the Lord will answer you as you pray throughout this week and throughout this season. May the Lord answer you. So that's the first thing David says they should pray for. The second thing, he says, may the Lord defend you. May the Lord defend you. And I pray that same prayer for each one of you. May the Lord defend you. David was a fighter. He went to war many of the times. And so he's telling his people, as you pray for me, pray for God to protect me. Pray for God to defend me. Now, each one of us have people whose life must be defended for our benefit. It could be a friend. It could be a spouse. It could be a pastor. It could be your leader. Uh, somebody who needs to do well so that you do well as well. Uh, and so David says, when you're praying for such people, pray that God will answer their prayer. And secondly, pray that God will defend them. And so I pray that prayer for you that God will defend you. Now each one of us at various point in our lives is involved in one struggle or the other. We are all dealing with stuff and sometimes we get overwhelmed by what we are dealing with. They look so big and we don't know whether we'll come through, whether we'll be successful and so we pray for everyone we look up to everyone we love who is going through a hard time and we say, may the Lord defend you. There is no circumstance in life that is greater than the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is our strong tower. The righteous runs into it and he is safe. She is safe as well. So as you trust in the name of the Lord, as you look up to the Lord, as you go to him in prayer, asking him to protect and defend you, we also come together behind you and we say the Lord will defend you. The Lord will answer your prayer. The Lord will be your help. The Lord will be your strength. And the same Lord who has brought you to the beginning of this year, the beginning of this month, will take you through to the end of the month, the end of the year, into a brand new year. May the Lord answer you and may the Lord defend you. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are the God who answers. I know you as my defender in times of war. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. The Lord will answer you and the Lord will defend you. I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.